Hello, hello, hello. This is Prophetess Tay Janice. I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. Before anything, you must seek the Lord by using your discernment spirit. You must also discern the voice of God by testing. You may discern what the will of God is for you to be sure this prophecy is indeed for you. Holy Spirit, we come thanking you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, ask and pray right now that you have your way. God, we give you thanks right now for the things you've done and the things you didn't do. It was good when we were afflicted. God, we love you. We trust you. God, we need you right now to have your way. Again, I ask and pray that it be none of me and all of you. Fall fresh like the rain and blow like the wind. Have your way. Bless every household need of faith. Deliver us from making poor choices, Lord God, and bad decisions. God, help our unbelief in the name of Jesus. Mark 9 and 23 tells us anything is possible to those who believe. God, we can have the lifestyle, the marriage that we want from you, that you desire for us to have as long as we trust you. Father, we silence the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative against word, against your word, your will, and your way. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. So the title of this message is, Is my husband or my wife in another country? Is my husband or my wife in another country? This message may not be for everyone. This message may just be for one or two people. Um, not every prophetic word is for you. So you want to make sure that you take this word, take this message back to the Lord in prayer. But if this message, if this word is for you, I want to give to you what the Holy Spirit has given to me to give to you. The Lord gave me Genesis 2 and 18. And however, God does make it clear that he does not intend for man to actually be alone. And alone is the relationship is very well godly is very well something that's still from the lord and it could be very well the will of god and for many of you it is the will of god however the goal of a long distant relationship the lord wants that to eventually come together because what god joins together no man can tear apart and this is something for many of you that has been a really big pill to swallow because of fear anxiety nervousness many of you are afraid to take that trip over to another country um, you could be your husband or your wife could be in Africa that person could be in Asia that person could be from whatever foreign country outside of the US um, if you're a person that's in the US and maybe your person is in Africa um, or vice versa taking that chance taking that trip to to actually make things come together can be very well scary because of the unknown of so many different things that um, people have stereotype things to actually be but the Lord is allowing you to know that my sheep know my voice and the day that you hear my voice harden not your heart don't listen to the voices of family members friends other people hear my voice hear what i'm saying to you the word tells us to seek ye the kingdom of god first and his righteousness and everything will be added you know when something is or isn't from the lord for many of you you've been studying the voice of god you've been meditating you've been praying you know, you know God's voice when it's leading you somewhere and when it's not. And for many of you, you must know, you have to know that the Holy Spirit will lead and guide you into all truth. If God brings you into a loving, prayerful, godly relationship that just so happens to be long distance, it doesn't mean that it's not the will of God. It is very well much so the will of God because God will provide you with the love, the patience, the energy, the strength to walk through it faithfully and happily. Give, uh, uh, marriage is a gift from the Lord and 
I want to give you another scripture that the Holy Spirit has laid on my heart to give to you. This scripture is coming from 2 John 1, verse 12. It says, I want to tell you many more things, but I do not want to write about them in a letter. Instead, I hope to come and visit you. Then I can see you and we can talk together. Then we will be completely happy. Your kingdom spouse wants to come and visit you. You guys are two believers in two separate countries, two separate places. And whoever this message is for, this person does not necessarily not want to write to you. They do, but they want to come and visit you. They want to come and see you. And again, God makes it very clear that it is not good for man to be alone. And the Lord wants this union to actually come together. And Jesus was a traveler. <laughs> Jesus did not stay in one spot. Many of you are not supposed to just be in one spot. Um, just because you're from a certain part of the country doesn't mean that your kingdom spouse is going to be from there either. The Lord, Jesus, you know, he was a traveler again himself. And him and the disciples, um, they were constantly all over the country um, sharing the word of God, performing miracles, doing great things in the Lord. And for many of you, that's how you're going to be. You're going to be traveling. You're going to be doing great things with and for the Lord. You're not destined for many of you to stay in one spot. I don't know who this message is for. And Jesus had to love many people from afar, even when, you know, he had to be about his father's business. You know, when his mother, Mary, came looking for him, you know, he said, hey, then, you know, I had to be about my father's business. So his mother, his cousin, John, the Baptist, and more, he had to love them from afar. The Lord doesn't want you to be afraid to take this step. He wants you to know that he will be with you in this long distance relationship, in this marriage, whether or not this person is from another country or not, you're seeking the Lord. You're trusting in the Lord. And I want to give you this next scripture because he's He's allowed me to just lay them to you. It's Deuteronomy 31 and 6. It says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. When you go across the country, many of you have to go across the country to go and marry this person. You may be meeting this person in person for the first time and you pretty much have already gotten the vibe over the phone. You may have felt the spirit of this person over the phone. You guys may have made, uh, met one another's loved ones, you know, introducing each other. And it may be seeming as though things are going pretty fast. And the Lord wants to remind you that, hey, this is me. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. Don't be afraid of the distance. Don't be afraid of the unknown. Don't be afraid because I'm with you wherever you go in this long distant relationship. Even in another country, no matter where you go, I'm going to be with you. Isaiah 41 and 10. So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Again, fear cannot have the biggest appetite at your table. God is going to go with you over the country. Wherever you may be going, God is going to be right there with you. You've been asking God, is my husband or my wife in another country? And for many of you, yes, that person is. And they are worthy of your love. They are worthy to be loved. And God is bringing this union together. And there's nothing no one can do to stop it. And the Lord allows you to know that, hey... And John 14 and 18, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. He's not going to treat you like Cinderella. You're not going to be like a stepdaughter, a stepchild. You're, you're not. You're not going to be left alone in this situation. He's not going to abandon you. You know, he's not going to just get you to this country and just leave you astray, leave you to figure everything else out. The Lord is letting you know, I'm with you. And... He's not going to allow you to drown. <laughs> Again, before God allows you to drown, he will save you. 
Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Your kingdom spouse has submitted themselves over to the Lord, okay? And because they've done that, God's desires has become their desires. Whatever they used to crave, they no longer crave that. The kingdom spouse is not afraid to actually step out on faith and marry you and take this union with you love you the way christ loves the church they're not afraid because it's another country they're not afraid of the unknown because they know that the lord is with them they know that the lord is with them wherever they go not just some of the time but all the time so they're not going to lean to their own understanding and miss out on the opportunity of loving you, of getting to be with you, of not taking care of you. They're not coming this far just to mistreat you or to harm you or to take advantage. Again, I don't know who this message is for, but God wants you to trust him. Even when you ask, is this my husband? The Lord is allowing you to know, yes, this is your husband. This is your wife that I've sent to you. And God is allowing you to know that, hey, I'm with you all the way through. It doesn't matter who says what, what I'm doing, what I'm joining. No man can tear that thing apart. And this person is considerate of your feelings and your emotions. But they know that they can only go but so far. They don't want to use pen and paper to write to you. They want to see you in person. They want to love you. They want to hold you. And maybe many of you have heard so many things about this country that this person is from. But the Lord is allowing you to know that the day you hear my voice hard and not your heart, not their heart, but your heart, not what you heard, but what God has told you, what you've witnessed. And I, this message is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Yes, your husband or your wife is in another country. It's not where you are. This is confirmation for many of you to take that flight, to take that trip, to join that union together. Because this man or this woman wants to love you, even if it's from afar. Even if it's at a distance. Again, Jesus and the disciples, they traveled all over. They didn't stay in one spot. And they learned, they learned to love from afar. I got to be about my father's business, Right? If your husband or your wife is in another country, you've got to go get them, honey. <laughs> you've got to live that life the way God wants you to live it and be with that person that he called you to be with and step out on faith and trust God. And it says, Jeremiah 32 and 27, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? Nothing is too hard for the Lord. It's scary, it's frustrating, it's overwhelming. Nothing is too hard for God. I know you're nervous, but God is with you. He's with you all the way through. And again, if God brings you into a godly, loving relationship, again, with someone who happens to be long distance or out of the country, no matter where they're from, he will also provide you both with that love and that patience that you need to get through this, to get you guys into union, to get you guys together. Many of you have been waiting on a love like this for so long, and they've been waiting on a love like this for so long. You're gonna help cultivate, excuse me, you're gonna help cultivate one another. You're gonna help bring out the best in one another in this long distant relationship. This is kingdom business. This is kingdom ministry. Don't be afraid to step out on faith. If God has told you, that your husband, again, is in Africa, Nigeria, um, Asia, China, Mexico, wherever he's told you to go, whomever he's allowed you to know that this is the person that he has for you, you prayed on it, you trusted him, it's time to make a move. You're going to step out on faith. God is saying, I never leave you, nor will I forsake you. I'm here with you the entire time. You don't worry. God has your back and your front. He's going to be with you all the way through this. He's never going to leave you. Never. This person is ready. Let that man, let that woman love you 
even if it's at a distance. God wants you guys to come together. God wants you guys to be united as one. Yes, a long distance relationship is absolutely could be the will of God. That's what he wants. He doesn't intend for you to be alone, so he makes that clear. It's not good. So, trust in the Lord. Comfort, com, you know what, use your, walk confidently forward towards the will of God. Move in confidence. Knowing that you are a follower of Jesus Christ, and this is where he's led you to go. This is who he's led you to actually be with and do the will of God. Step out on faith. So we can walk confident and call unconfidence knowing that if God be for us, who can be against our marriage? Who can be against our relationship? Who can be against us coming together? The enemy only has a short period of time to work and his time is up. God is setting before you an open door to take that trip to go and see your husband or your wife that he has for you. The Lord is bringing you two together as one. The two shall become one. Whenever you're seeking God and you're praying to God for good advice, for confirmation regarding regarding a godly relationship, a healthy lifestyle that he wants you to live, always look at the examples of Jesus Christ. Look at how he traveled afar, when he what he did, when he healed, when he delivered, when he set free, when he built relationships. He built bonds. And that's what you're building with your kingdom spouse. You're traveling. You're a traveler. For many of you, it's in you. And you don't mind going wherever the Lord tells you to go. Somebody is saying, yes. God says, if I told you what I really need, would your spirit still say yes? If I told you your husband or your wife was in another country, would you still say yes? I told you your wife or your husband is in another country. Are you still saying yes? If I told you what's required, are you still going to make a step forward and move when I tell you to move. Go when I tell you to go. Don't end this relationship. Call that person back. Let them know that you love them and you trust God for and with them. That you guys are going to do this with Christ. That's the only way you're going to do it. God loves the both of you. He's joining the both of you together. And there's nothing nobody can do to stop it. Amen. Oh, I feel this message so heavy for somebody. Tell that devil, if you're going to be rapping, I'll be singing. We'll be doing a duet. But I'm going to get my husband. No matter what country he's in, no matter what country she's in, I'm going to get them. <laughs> I'm going to travel just like Jesus traveled. I'm going to travel to go get what God has for me. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the throne of grace. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for this message on today. Right off the top, we silence the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative against your word, your will, and your way. Father God, we thank you that the Holy Spirit will lead and guide us into all truth. Have your way, sweet, precious God. Thank you in advance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shalom in the Lord, meaning peace in the Lord. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As the Holy Spirit downloads to me, I'm going to upload to you what the Lord gives to me to give to you. This message is for you. Amen. Go ahead and sow into this ministry as the Lord lays on your heart to do so. Many of you may be pastors, preachers, apostles, evangelists. You may have a title. You may already be in kingdom business, kingdom ministry. I'm doing what the Lord has called you to do already. And again, your partner may be in another country. And the Lord is about to join you two together. And they are coming to get you or you are coming to get them. Amen. I don't know who this message is for today, but so into this ministry. The same way um, the widow woman, she sold into the prophet's hands. And when she did that, God multiplied it. And I believe that God is going to multiply. That's the first thing that he told men to do when you come together, to be fruitful and multiply. And God is going to multiply that union and that marriage. Marriage is a gift from the Lord. The two shall become one. You will become one. You are bone of his bone. You are flesh of his flesh. Regardless of whether where, where that man or that woman may be from, no one can stop what the Lord is doing. Nothing shall separate you from the Lord. Nothing shall separate you from what God is doing currently in your life, in this relationship, in this union that God is bringing together. Again, this is confirmation for many of you. 
Amen. I stand in agreement with you as long as God can get the glory. Amen. Tell that devil again, hey, I'm sending you a first class ticket back to hell where you belong. I may have been carried in, but I'm walking into the promised land. Even if I have to travel afar to get there, my father is with me. The Lord promised that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Before he let you drown, he'll rescue you. God is for you. God is for you. Don't listen to what no one else says but the Lord. Do what God has told you to do. God didn't tell them to do it. They're not going to understand. Some people are not going to understand your decision. But God didn't give it to them. God has given it to you. You have to make that decision. The both of you together trusting in the Lord. Amen. And again, I stand in agreement with you. As long as God can get the glory, it's all about the Lord. People have been asking me, how can they sow? You can do so by Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, uh, Super Thanks. Amen. And when you do that, when you sow, sow expecting to reap a harvest. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. God pays child support on your behalf. He's going to take care of you even when you travel across that country. He's going to be with you. Amen. Amen. Well, I love you with the love of Christ. And you know what? There's nothing you can do about it. You know I'll see you in the next video.